think God just naturally blessed myself just to like play football because I think from from young, like I'm talking young, young days, I was just I don't know why, like I just always wanted to touch a football. And it was like um it was just one of those things where I thought, let me just like see how football goes and then when it got time to like playing in the parks and that I was just naturally good. And then my dad and like my family were supporting me mad, like saying how oh, like you're really good, like I think you can go all the way with this. But these times I was just young and I was just like playing mess around football. So um I think with with that question when you said who inspired me, I just think I just think God just naturally blessed me with that with the football talent and just he, I think he just wanted me to play football from young and I ain't really like regretted anything. I've loved every minute of it. Obviously, um, this is like Albion Estate. This is where I grew up as when I was a kid, and there was like loads of us around here. So, yeah, like a good twenty, and I used to live on that like, fifth landing there. And around here, this is where like all the ball was kicking off. Like we'd use them garages over there as a goal, and yeah, it's even like playing run outs and just stuff on the block was just it was just all good fun. Like when you was a little kid, like it was just have no no responsibility, nothing. You just you just be living a free life if you get what I mean. But yeah, this is where it all started man. Before I even knew like if I wanted to become a footballer or not, like all, all the football was just it was just fun and games to me back in them days. And now it's just like it's just a whole different so, to where I am now I'd never think I'll be so yeah man, I've got good memories of around this area. But now it's just like business time and now I do sometimes visit the old area at times when I've got time to but then all my friends have like moved out from this area so it's like I hardly, I hardly see this area anymore but yeah this is where everything started for me. But we'll last more than a lifetime For your high fi it is single Sounds like a single, it's got the right vibe I ride in a cloud on a tide tide Looking around at a bright sky I feel like an alien staring down at the earth And my life's like a sci-fi But time that we have is precious Fight in a second Is this a slice of heaven? Have I the right intentions? I ain't impressed with hate or a violent message Surrounded by connections Timeless friendships Smiling like life is stressless We're moving in the right direction Keep it on the low We're too soft for here Stacking on some people We are planning to live People out there that's trying to like become a footballer or working towards their dream, like it's never too late. It's never it's never too late to become a professional footballer. It's never too late to be successful in football. It's just whether you can handle the setbacks if there is any setbacks and if you're strong minded enough to keep going after the setbacks. This is um Depth of Park. This is uh I'll say this is where I'll say this is where my ball started properly actually. Normally I'll just come here like with my, my dad and my brother and uh, just play over and the, them far fishes down there. And normally every time, we, it was a Sunday, and normally every Sunday there'll be people playing here anyway. So normally I'll just ask myself to join in. Growing up, um, there's always been setbacks. Like I've had setbacks in my life, where, like, obviously um, things haven't worked out for me at one club, and then I thought at times like my life was going downhill. But then I think having a strong family that's willing to fight with you as well when it comes to football is is one of the main things. So I'll say there's been some barriers that I've come across but it's made me stronger as a person and on the pitch as well. So um I was I would say it's been it's been quite hard getting to where I am now but I'm I'm not a finished product yet. Would I consider myself successful? Uh 
I wouldn't say so, no. I'd say I still got a lot, like a lot to get through. I'll say I'm half I'm halfway there, but I'm not where I wanna be just yet. I think um I think I'm on my way there but I just just running everything's where I just gotta keep a steady head. Um just work every day. Um and just just do all the right things and just take each day as it comes really. I wanna make an impact on my community in not not just football but anything in life whether they want to become like a, I don't know, for example, they want to own their own business or they want to do this and do that. I just, all I've got to say to them is just that it's like you're going to get barriers in life where it might knock you back two, it might knock you back two steps, but then it's how you get back from that setback and how you keep going. And um, I'm just hoping, like, I'm just trying to, like, convince the kids out there who will be watching this as well that it's never too late to, to chase your dream and whether whether it is football or it ain't or it's something else it's just just keeping a steady head and just making sure that you're always you're always on the right path and you're not hanging around with negative people that are dragging you down there's going to be people out there that are trying to drag you down because they want to be doing what you're doing and they can't so I just think just need to like just just be focused in life and just think about yourself but bring your friends with you so it's like you're just bringing your friends with you to, to success so I'm just hoping like the kids watching this and the kids around the area and kids anywhere just just focus on your dream and don't let anyone distract you from your dream just, 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 just.